banks face increasing pressure to understand their possible compliance risk exposure based on the activities of their counterparties. The SWIFT profile is a set of unique value-added reports from SWIFT that use aggregated global payment data to help banks pinpoint potential risk from specific jurisdictions. It supports due diligence activities by providing an independent, fact-based overview of a specific bank's direct and indirect correspondent banking activities. The report exposes hidden risks posed by network connections. The SWIFT profile also helps banks offer peace of mind to their counterparties by providing additional transparency and evidence of compliance. You can ask SWIFT to create your institution's SWIFT profile, which you can share with your counterparties at your discretion using the KYC registry. You always have full control over which institutions can view your SWIFT profile information. The SWIFT profile is based on aggregated FIN message traffic. There are three reports covering payments and three reports covering trade finance. The following FIN message types are used to compute the payments report. MT103, Single Remit Credit Transfer. MT202, General Financial Institution Transfer. And MT202 COV, Cover General Financial Institution Transfer. For trade finance, the following message types are included. MT400, Advice of Payment. MT499, Free Format Message Category 4. MT700, Issue of Documentary Credit. And MT799, Free Format Message Category 7. For each market, Payments and Trade Finance, there are three reports. Each report provides an increasing level of detail. Level 1, aggregate exposure. Level 2, country exposure. Level 3, counterparty exposure. Level 1 and Level 2 can be shared with your counterparties through the KYC registry to support customer due diligence activities. Level 3 is intended for your use only, due to the nature of the information that it contains. Level 3 reports cannot be shared through the KYC registry. We will look at each level in more detail later. The SWIFT profile is computed at the level of the individual legal entity in the KYC registry and always relates to a single BIC. Your institution's SWIFT profile highlights areas of potential risk by identifying traffic directly or indirectly exchanged with jurisdictions that are considered as high risk or non-cooperative by FATF or under sanctions by OFAC or the European Union. It identifies exposure resulting from both your direct and the indirect correspondent relationships. Direct relationships are relationships established directly between you and another correspondent bank. The SWIFT profile will identify instances where your institution sent or received SWIFT messages directly with correspondents located in high-risk or sanctioned jurisdictions. Indirect relationships are your counterparty's correspondence and can also be referred to as nested accounts. Your SWIFT profile indicates whether you have sent or received payments involving nested accounts located in high-risk or sanctions jurisdictions. For both direct and indirect relationships, the SWIFT profile only indicates the country where the ordering and or beneficiary parties bank is located. It does not identify such banks directly.